You got some M's behind you. Hey, everybody. It's Ryan from Pi Records, and I'm here with Bjorn from Robotron. How are yeah, you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. And you? I'm um, very good. Very. Uh, I always like to talk to my good friends in Norway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thanks for having me. <laughs> oh, no problem. No problem. Uh, so I was listening to a couple of your albums today. Yeah. And I and I noticed um, not only is it surf inspired, but it's kind of like the '60s, um, almost psychedelic garage. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. correct. Tell me a little bit about uh, some of your influences that went into that sound. Yeah. Okay. My my main influence is uh, Man or Astro Man. I think like the, if you like have a top five band, I would say they are number one in my uh, influence. I think since the beginning, I'm listening to them and uh, everything I do, I really inspired in the, in the, what they do. And yeah, and also, 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 of course, they have a lot of other, other, other bands at the same time. But uh, yeah, if you ask one band, I would say Men of Astro Men. Awesome. Uh, for, for this project, how long has it been going on and uh, who's all involved? Are you playing all the instruments at the time? Yeah, uh, everything begun was in 2014. I remember I was uh, doing some demos home. I was having some ideas and I'm recording some demos. Uh, and then I managed to have my first album ready. And then I just uh, have a friend. I don't. I, I cannot play drums. I can play guitar. I can play bass, but I cannot play drums. So every time uh, I ask somebody to join me and play the drums. So in the first album, I did like uh, me and my friend together in the same room. I was doing the guitars, he was doing the drums. And then we did the, all the songs. And then after I did the, the bass. Uh, the second album I did with the band. Uh, we, we were a band at the time. So we did it uh, every, all three together. And for the third album, uh, same thing. I, have, uh, I was alone again. And then I just uh, asked for a friend to come. We did this third album. And for the fourth album, that's the, the, the last one, uh, I sent everything to a friend. He was he owned a recording studio, so he did the drums and he sent the tracks. I did the guitar and the bass. I sent the tracks. He did the mix and mastering. So the album was done. So yeah, basically that's how I, I did all the albums. Yeah. And how long did it did it take to do the last album? Ah uh, man. Because it was in between my daughter got born. So first part was quite fast because uh, I had all the demos already ready. So I just sent the tracks with the guitars and bass so the guy can do the drums over it. So I would say four months. Yeah, totally. Okay. Yeah, it's not that bad, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> so um, with something that sounds so, so clean and polished there had to have been a number of other bands you've been in before yeah 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 uh, no, i'm i'm 42 now uh i've been in, in a band since i'm 15 so it's quite a long time i'm also i when i was in my 20s i, I worked in a recording studio so i have a lot of uh experience there so i learned how to record i'm not a, i'm not a I'm not an engineer but i know how to do stuff you know yeah. So yeah. that's helped helped me a lot because when I do when I have an idea, I just record something in my phone, and then after I go to the computer. And today everything is quite easy. When I you don't need a drummer, so you have like this plugins like uh, how to call it? Uh, yeah, there's several plugins that can do the drums for you. Yeah. Just like MIDI, you just copy and paste and put whatever you want, and now I do the, everything after. So I since I have experience with the recording studio. For me, it's quite easy to start in this way, you know. So yeah, yeah, it was quite, quite, uh, quite good. Are you, uh, are you familiar with the band, the Beach Bomb? Yes, yes, they are from uh, Oslo. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do yeah, you, guys, have... do you guys play together sometimes? No, not yet, not yet. I think they started uh, not for a long time ago. Uh, but no, we didn't have a chance to play yet. But of course, as soon as I have a band together we're gonna do some stuff together of course yeah do you share uh the same love of black metal as, as they do <laughs> no i think he's uh, more into black metal than i am yeah <laughs> <laughs> and actually i live in a city that is well known for the black metal scene uh you know the the churches that got burned yeah you know, you know this 
Yeah, okay. I was here in the city that I live. Oh wow. Yeah, and the guy that killed the guy in Mayhem, he was he was also from my city. He was here in the bag and he went to Oslo to kill the guy. He's a very scary dude, that Varg. Yeah, he's uh, he today I believe he lives in uh, in France and he's not a good a welcome person here no you know anymore, no. Yeah. Yeah, he's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Um so tell me about uh guitar influences. Uh what kind what kind of guitar do you play? Yeah, what, okay. What is... I yeah, I see some of men of Astro Man fan. I can say that I'm a most right guy. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so first, yeah, because I started with men Astro Man, right? So it, they did a lot of not a lot, but some ventures covers in some albums. So then they also have the most right from from ventures right so when i first time i saw the most right i said wow what the hell is that that's the most amazing guitar i saw in my life and then i start got into the most right thing and uh like uh, searching searching and yeah i can say that i'm a most right uh, person for bass i can say that i'm a fender guy but uh, for guitars i'm a most right guy. what do you think uh besides the humbuckers uh, what what do you think is the the greatest difference between the most right and say a Jaguar? Uh, in terms of sound or in terms of design? Sound. Yeah, I think the Hamburgers are really good. They have a lot of uh, input output actually, so they they like they push the amp a lot. So this that's a, I think that's a very good uh, thing about the most rights. And like for a Jaguar, uh, Jaguar is a single coil as far as I remember, right? Yeah. So yeah. So it's also it's really good for surf sounds, but don't push that much. But of course, it would depend the which sound do you want, right? Because in my, for example, me my my experience, right? So some songs I said, okay, maybe I will use a single coil for this one, but the other songs, okay, maybe I, maybe hamburger will go better. So yeah, depends of which sound do you want. The track ones are good. Most rights are also good. So yeah. Yeah. Depends. So, uh, what are your plans right now? Are you are you finishing up your your next record, or are you looking at getting a few more members to go out and play? Yeah, at now I just released a record. It was uh, I think it was two two months ago. So I just uh, yeah working on it, uh, and I didn't start to think about the next one yet. So now I really want to make some uh, yeah some videos for this uh, previous record and start to go out more uh and then i have my daughter now that i have to take care of she's uh, five months oh, so she's yeah thank you she's kind of my priority at the moment so as soon as she turns uh, one or i like, become a little bit bigger and then i have i can have more time you know to focus and do yeah. other stuff right <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i'm mm, sorry Oh no! I just—I was just gonna say it's a very busy time right now. It is. It is. It, uh, yeah, yeah. It is. I just put her to sleep, and uh, we were like the entire day with this baby routine and blah blah blah. So, yeah. so I don't have too much free time to do all the stuff. Uh, but of course, I'm all the time uh, playing. Like acoustic, I have an acoustic guitar just next to me all the time. So I just uh, doing some riff recording at my telephone, and once I have time. I go to the computer and then just start writing songs and yeah, maybe a new album will come. Yes. Awesome. Yeah, uh, yeah. Is, is there anything else you'd like to talk about that maybe I haven't mentioned? Uh, what else? Uh, what can we talk about? Uh, yeah, okay. We can talk about maybe the designs for the covers. I don't know if you saw the, the, the covers. Oh yeah, the artwork. Yeah. Yeah, the artwork. So I... I'm a lot of a big fan of the kaiju uh, stuff. Yeah. So uh, the three, the first three albums, if you see the cover, is really influenced by kaiju uh, design. Uh, and then I have this amazing friend, and he's uh, also a drummer. He plays for the a band called Hato Forgetis. He's he's a drummer, and also he's also an amazing designer. And he did the first and the third uh, cover. And he did, he did also the last one. But like he also a kaiju fan and he also got in look into it and he did this amazing work. Uh, yeah, and I think it was uh, pretty 
pretty nice. And uh, and for the first album, uh, I did like I tried to every album I tried to tell a story, right? So the first album I tried to make a menage for to show because you have uh, Godzilla in Japan, and I found out they they have this Scandinavia version for Godzilla, which is a uh, Reptilicus. So okay. Reptilicus is uh, Godzilla from Denmark. Okay. So that like was the first uh, theme for the first album, and then if you see the cover, it kind of uh, looked like a Godzilla and a uh, big lizard and, uh, and that kind of uh, stuff. For the second album, I I got crazy and I said, okay, I like cheese. I want to do an album inspired by cheese. <laughs> so I named Gorgonzola Revenge. Most of the people don't know what Gorgonzola means, but it's like blue cheese. <laughs> you know, so I did, it's, you see the cover, it's like a big monster, cheese monster, <laughs> kind kind inspired by the the you know the, this movie, eighties movie. They have J Jabba the Hut. Oh, the Star know. Wars. Yeah, the, yeah, Star Wars. So it's kind of inspired on that. And for the third album, which was like a was a trilogy, right? And then yeah. I want to end it up like the robot Robotron against Robotron. So that's okay. if you see the cover is one against each other. So yeah, that was uh, the main thing for this for this. And for the last album, I didn't want to do something new, so I left the, the Skyju thing uh, a little bit behind and just uh, start a new new theme. And for this new one, I wa I, I was in Belgium uh, a couple of years ago, and we went to this place called Tomium. I don't know if you know what it is. No, no, it's like no. this big structure with the Tomian structure. You can go inside. It's so amazing. So I was so fascinated with that. So I decided to name the new album Atomio. And the design was basically like the Atomio itself. So yeah, so it's really cool to do. And uh, the artwork is so, so amazing. I'm really proud of the work. Yeah, very cool. Very cool. Yeah. I, love, uh, I love the logo, the the Robotron logo with the the yellow and the black. Yeah, yeah, logo. yeah, yeah. It was nice. The guy, the guy did do amazing work. It was really cool. <laughs> All right, uh, Bjorn, I want to thank you so much for being thank on. You. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, making great music that uh, I know you. I'll be listening to a lot in the future. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. <laughs>